If you're thinking of signing up for Gemini, the trading platform, definitely watch this video. It's a really short, simple introductory video, but I'll cover some basic information that you should know about the platform. If you like what I say in this video, you like what you hear about them, uh, you can use my link in the video description below. It's below the video to sign up for them. If you do, it's basically, it's a promotional link, so it will get you the best trading fees and best introductory offers that they have in your area. And, and again, it'll change, it'll, it'll vary by region depending on where you're accessing the site from, but that link has a live algorithm that'll propagate the best offer they have for your area. So again, that link is there if you want to use it, guys. That being said, let's get on with the video. And obviously, if you want to get started with Gemini, the first thing you're going to have to do is create an account. Um, just a heads up, you can do this by hitting the Get Started button on the site once it navigates there from my link, that is. And then you just give your, your name, your email address, you come up with a password, and that's pretty much it. So next, it's a matter of getting your account verified. It's just a matter you know, of security for this. Uh, they do this for security. Uh, this means giving Gemini some kind of proof of identity. If you're in the US, this will probably mean some kind of driver's license or passport ID. Just know you'll have to have one of those things. Now, at this point, I should mention the fact that Gemini has pretty good global coverage, meaning you can sign up here from most states in the US, as well as the UK, Australia, and so on. The only downer is that you can sign up to Gemini if you live in Canada. So sorry to all my Canadian viewers out there. Now, anyway, once you get your account set up, you'll obviously be ready to make some kind of deposit. You can either do this with a crypto uh, with crypto directly from your crypto wallet, or you can make deposits um, you know, with a, regular, with a regular fiat currency as well. The thing to remember here is that that while you can use a debit card to make an instant purchase of a crypto asset, you won't be able to make a deposit into your account with a debit card at Gemini. Plus, I should mention that there is a 3.49% fee for orders made with a debit card. So try to avoid that if you can. Instead, you'll get the option of making an ACH bank transfer or a wire transfer. Of these, I'd recommend doing an ACH bank transfer. This is because it will, it'll just let you carry out deposits and withdrawals, as well as instant purchases. Plus, ACH bank transfers won't have any minimal, any minimal, uh, minimum withdrawal amounts, and you won't get hit by any kind of withdrawal fees either. Now, onto the trading. You get plenty of different ways to choose how you'll trade cryptos at Gemini. Some people, for example, will want to trade on a mobile, um, you know, there's a cool Gemini app that you can download to your uh, iOS or Android device. However, I prefer to trade old school from my laptop or desktop. Um, so I just fired up the Gemini Exchange from my web browser, and this gives you a simple overview of the market and its offer, and it, and it offers anyone an easy way to build up a portfolio of whatever the, whatever crypto assets they want to choose. I should mention the fact that Gemini also features a pretty in-depth trading platform called Active Trader. This offers you all of the analytical tools you'll need to understand and the price movements of the crypto of the crypto that you're actually monitoring. Um, it's definitely worth a look if you're looking to get into auctions, block trading, and things like that. You can also add a crypto to your watch list and set notifications that'll alert you when the value of the crypto either hits a certain mark or goes down or whatever. Making a trade is pretty simple, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is either hit the buy or sell tab, enter in how much you want to trade, and then you can execute your order. There's also the option to make a repeat trades, which can be good for iron out the volatility of a particular crypto. There's a massive number of cryptos to trade here with I think they have like over 75 different coins at, the, at a time of do, uh, as of doing this video. Now these feature all of the cryptocurrencies that you'd expect. For example, Bitcoin, you know Ethereum, uh, you know the US dollar coin, Ripple, Cardano, Solana, Dogecoin, and so on. I should definitely mention the fact that Gemini has its own coin here as well, the Gemini, the Gemini dollar. Uh, this is a kind of stable coin, meaning that its value is pegged against that of the US dollar. Okay, so there's much more to Gemini than just its trading platform. After all, it's got an NFT marketplace with the slightly questionable name of Nifty Gateway that's worth a closer look if you're interested in NFTs. This does all of the things you'd expect so that you can buy or sell NFTs directly from your Ethereum wallet. Now, I'll admit I was massively skeptical about NFTs when they first came out, but I can now clearly see that they are not going anywhere anytime soon. Plus the fact that Gemini lets you save up to 70% on gas fees could make me could make me an NFT could make anyone an NFT convert. Gemini is actually a pretty good place to store your crypto assets. It features its own Gemini wallet that features all the expected security and protection protocols, and there's even something called Gemini Custody that gives you an even more secure way to manage your cryptos. For example, Gemini Custody could give you up to $200 million in cold storage insurance, so it's definitely worth a look if you're keen to keep your digital assets safe. It's here that I should mention also that Gemini is fully regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services. This basically means that it isn't going to run away with your money, 
Not at all, unlike a lot of other crypto ex exchanges that I can think of. So that pretty much covers everything. I know this video is very basic, very introductory, very, very 101. Uh, but again, guys, if you like what you hear, you want to test out uh, Gemini for yourself, the link down below will get to their best uh, trading fees as well as their best sign up offer for your area. And I'll see you in the next video.